Okay, uh, what I got here is some mashed potato. I just put it on this uh, paper towel to drain out any excess water that may be in it because water and oil, not the best of friends. These are mashed potatoes that I made the night before just for a chicken dinner. Um, you can always buy uh, store-bought potatoes like Simply Potatoes or you know some type of other uh, potatoes in the cold section that are actually real potatoes that are pre-made. What we're going to do is we're just going to put these together really simply. We're going to do it with salt and pepper. We're just going to make them nice and crispy in a pan, nice little potato pancake. We're not going to go overboard and add all this extra stuff. That's something you can decide what you want to do and, and, and uh, come, come to that decision if you, if you so choose. What we're basically just trying to show you here is to how to make a nice crispy potato pancake and then you can add whatever you want uh, on the end or, or before and in between. So first thing you want to do is take the uh, potato, bring it together, probably about that much maybe a tad more just get it in your hands you want to kind of get it like so it's a little ball first then what you want to do kind of start molding it in your hands real easy you don't want to make it too thick because what you want to do is you want to have a nice crispy little product you can even leave it doesn't have to be perfect you can be just like that get each one of them done like that and then of course get it in your pan you don't have to worry about salting it now you really don't because when you're done and it's it's crispy you can salt it then it's like taking fries out of a fryer you don't salt them before you put them in the fryer you salt them after you put them in okay next step here is you want to preheat your pan to a medium not any higher than that because the key is the preheat if you want to get the golden crust you want to preheat the pan to a medium not to a high or else you will have a black crust you want to put some oil in the pan. Um, I like to use olive oil. Not the, uh, the good stuff, just an average olive oil. And what you're basically doing is you're going to coat the pan there for a moment. You'll see the smoke starting to come off of there. Now what we did with the potato pancakes, if you didn't already know, is, is uh, we kind of let them sit out for a little bit so they got close to room temperature. You don't want them to be ice cold because what's going to happen is they are going to cook differently. The inside will be cold, the outside will be warm, and they'll just not cook right. So we're going to get our first pancake in there, lay it in, and once it's shaken there, let it cook. We'll flip it in a moment. All right, as we can see, it's getting close to be ready to be flipped over. It's been about a minute and a half. Take it, turn the pan a little bit. Remember, this is a mashed potato pancake, so it's not as durable as you would say a hash brown pancake. So you've got to be very delicate with it, but you see the golden color on it and everything else. It will release some of these little spuds around the end here, which are nice and crispy, which you can actually use to garnish it. They're not the most tasty thing in the world, but if you like that little extra char to it, you can go ahead and add them on top. Okay, so after like another minute, it's done. You want to just scoop it off of there. Put it onto a plate. And there you go. You can add your salt now. And your pepper. If you'd like. A little bit of sour cream. Whatever you like to put on it. And there you go. Nice simple mashed potato potato pancake.